Salutations. Welcome to Strategy and Analysis Center. Today's briefing, PLA's God of War, China's self-propelled artillery. In previous briefings, I've discussed the PLA's Heavy Combined Arms Battalion and High Mobility Light Combined Arms Battalion, and most recently, the PLA's Multiple Launch Rocket Systems. To complement the MLRS, the PLA has a wide range of wheeled and tracked gun howitzer platforms, introducing new systems over recent years. This briefing will look at the PLA's wheeled and tracked gun howitzer platforms, both within the combined arms brigades and separate artillery brigades. I will be covering the ground forces amphibious brigades, but not the Navy's marine brigades. Note, not all artillery brigades will have the latest artillery systems, and some will have towed systems. Starting with the Light Combined Arms Brigade, the PCL-161 gun howitzer is a relatively new addition to the PLA. The PCL-161 shares the same chassis as many of the vehicles within the Light Combat Arms Brigade, including multiple launch rocket systems and anti-tank guided missile vehicles. It is equipped with a 122mm gun with a range of between 18 to 22 kilometres with standard and base bleed rounds, so not including rocket assisted projectiles. Uh, this may be being replaced by the PCL 09 in the Light Combined Arms Brigades. As with the Light Combined Arms Brigades, the Medium Combined Arms Brigade also uses a self propelled gun based on a common chassis within its brigade. Utilising the CTL-181 chassis, which is also used on the MLRS, which I covered in the previous briefing, and other vehicles found in the brigade, the PCL-171 has improved armoured protection and better off-road mobility when compared to the PCL-161, but is equipped with the same 122mm gun and brought together in a very compact design. The light and medium brigades then have light and mobile self-propelled guns with common platforms and weapons, simplifying logistics and training. Note it is likely that the older PCL-9 is still in service with some medium brigades. Again, this standardisation is true for the heavy and amphibious brigade, which utilise the same 122mm gun as the light and medium brigades, but based on a chassis common to their parent brigades. For the Heavy Combat uh, Combined Arms Brigade, the PLZ-07 is employed. It's not amphibious, but it is armed with the same 122mm gun and based on the same chassis as many of the support vehicles within the brigade. Uh, it is replacing the PLZ-89. In the Ground Force Amphibious Brigades, the PLZ-07B is used. Now it is based on a different chassis to the 07 and is amphibious but has the same turret as the 07. So, all organic self-propelled guns in the combined arms brigades are equipped with the same 122mm gun. Moving to the artillery brigades, each of the PLA's 13 group armies, which roughly equivalent to a Western Corps, has an independent artillery brigade equipped with tracked and or wheeled self-propelled guns. These brigades have four battalions or regiments, depending on where you're from, of 18 guns each to support the six combined arms brigades in each group army. The track platforms within the artillery brigades are the PLZ 05A and B, replacing the PLZ 45. Their 155 millimeter guns have a range of 40 to 50 kilometers with standard and base bleed rounds, so not including rocket assisted projectiles. Shown here is the 05A. The 05B is identified by its longer hull, it has an extra road wheel, and large turret overhang. The wheel platforms within the Group Army Artillery Brigades are provided by the PCL-181, which is armed with the same 155 gun as the PLZ-05s. So, all 155mm gun support is provided by the Group Army Artillery Brigades with the flexibility of both wheeled and tracked platforms. In summary, the PLA have standardised all combined arms brigade artillery at 122mm and artillery brigade guns 
at 155mm. For combined arms brigades, the 122mm calibre offers the benefits of range and firepower over 155mm guns and easier logistic support and lighter weight over 155mm calibres. For the artillery brigades, the 155 represents the world standard as an improvement and is an improvement over the 152mm guns. These gun howitzer systems offer a good range of ordnance delivered over good ranges, together with the benefit of both wheeled and tracked platforms. They offer ease of ammunition resupply due to the commonality of the guns at combined arms and then at artillery brigade formations, and good mobility on roads and cross country. That concludes today's briefing. Uh, the next briefing will cover the Russian battalion tactical groups. Thank you for watching. Happy to take suggestions for future briefings from subscribers, so please subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, Fale de Serre.